This is Rondi Pottinger for SaveJamaica.com. I'm going to take you on this really interesting journey to meet the Bush Doctor. Amazing person. She really knows her alternative uh, remedies. Whether it be cold, asthma, she says she's treating someone that has cancer. But um, um, this, this is one of the realest people you want to meet in Jamaica. For this video is one of the most valuable video second to the first um remedy video on savejamaica.com again i want you to support the movement donate buy the pictures continue to share these videos um with your family uh these videos are very important aspect to our culture health is first and that's why i set out to do this because um this information is very very valuable it's very unique and um, I really appreciate you watching this and sharing this with your friends and family and your children. So cherish this and enjoy your life and be in health and um, take care. Rondi Poncher, SaveJamaica.com. Wow, that's a nice house. See We are at Eastfield and Parish of St. Catherine. Where you guys grew up? Well, I was born here in Linstead, but I grew up in a district further on the road called Cooshade. I spent like 14 years there, then migrate, and now living in Portmore. But I'm here for a few hours to look for her. This is Lee Garrett Selvin. This is Cicely Garrett Selvin in your kitchen. This is in. What, where are we located now? Heathfield. Heathfield, St. Catherine, Catherine yes. near Linstead. Yes. And today you're going to talk about some herbs yes. and some bush. While you cook, what are you cooking? Rondong mackerel. Rondong mackerel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, do your thing. We're going to set up the stove and light the flame. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we light the flame. We're going to use the phone. Okay. So now turn what? Tell me about the coal. How do you make it? Chop down the green trees. The trees. Like we fall. We fall some trees sometime last week. And when we, we cut down the trees, we cut them up in small pieces. And we pack them up together like this. Pack them up in it. These are the woods, you know. Pack up the wood together. I should I use some wood and pack it. Mm, so you pack it up like that, that's good. Then you some wood. I will pack it up like this. And this is food, so we should use some wood. Mm -hmm. Two pieces of wood. And then we pack it up with the wood. And then now we, we, we throw some bush on it. And then we dirt it. And light it from down the bottom and it burn come up. Mm. So we get the wood. 
How oh, long it take? Depends how old you like. It's good. You can take it. Four day, three day. Depends on the size of the skin. Does the food taste different when you use coal? Yeah, man. Because of the coal? Because of the am. Um, because of the salt from the coal. Okay. The coal gives you a salt. I'm going to put salt in there. You can, but I mean, if you don't have the salt, you can use ashes and salt. Look at you know. Yeah. The white, pretty ashes that you get from the coal. Uh -huh. And if you don't have any salt to put into the pot, the salt in the pot is just throw a little and it's plain ashes in it. And that's it. Oh. You believe that? You never know that. Yeah, man. So salt come out of the ashes? Yeah, man. Ashes is like salt. So that's why you get a, um, a better flavor from it more than when you use the gas. I mean, I really have not been using gas, I have been using now. I mean, as me selling the food, me just use it. Mm -hmm. When I have the gas, I mean, I have the gas, I mean, I really too make it bother me. No, look at cursing up on that. You can just use pure paper, but never take up the time. Mm -hmm. You could talk about some tea. In the morning, what kind of tea you like to drink? Me laugh, but me not laughing after you. <laughs> me laughing about the tea. <laughs> because, the, the, because the thing about tea that me drink all kind of tea. It's so funny, but I will just get up like this man and just cut up a lime. And just make some lime tea. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Alright. <laughs> and, and you get a poor man and I don't feel for any tea in the morning. Mm -hmm. But lay down going up into the middle like I will drink here maybe two or three cups of tea. Mm -hmm. Maybe I will put mint or so I don't have no favorite tea but I drink no tea. What's the Cersei tea good for? Cersei is mostly for belly, you know. Most people drink Cersei. But Cersei is just mostly like if you have pain in the, in, 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 in the tummy. But Cersei is really definitely as far as me use it and know it. You make you take it and you make tea. Mm -hmm. That's it. You can't make tea, but like we say, you ever use it for a complaint. Mm -hmm. Mostly for belly. Because too much of it is not good. Me you say, let me pick the, the, the green part tight, not the whole root. Somebody tell me say enough to pick the whole height. Mm -hmm. Just a portion of it. Mm -hmm. And it's good to cook that. To cook? You cook it, but you cook the, the, the thing that blossom and near the pad. Okay. So I'm coming. We have it here plenty too. But you, you know, only love sensitive. Mm -hmm. You just rub, make me rub it with milk. There's another tea sauce up, them say good. Sour sap leave, oh my, that is very wonderful for the nerves. Mm -hmm. The sour sap is for the nerves. Not so much the leaf, but like the root, the limy part, and the root part, the root of it. But I mean, ordinarily, I can't take the sour sap leaf and make tea. You have to dry it? In the way you want it, you know. Green too? Mm-hmm. But the best way is to break it and put it on like it quill. Like this, this is sweet basil. Sweet basil. Mm -hmm. that, that is for gas, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes, man, that is very much for gas. Like if you know that, you, you know sometimes the gas set your stomach. Mm -hmm. You just boil a little piece of it. 
and 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 for the idiot. This one is the Nuni book. Oh, this is the Nuni they talk about. It's dry. The tree just around there, ma'am. The tree. Uh -huh. It's dry. This is we can go outside and look on its own. <laughs> it is in between the liner. Huh? Yeah, and the next neighbor. Nuni, and what is good for? It's good for a lot of things. High, mm -hmm. pain in the joints, mm -hmm. and it clean you and it build you. Okay. Yeah, man. Oh, you prepare it? Like it, you can, you can use it alone, and you can use it with something else. But if like if you have an eye problem, you have an eye problem, or as I said before, pain in the joints and then place you just need to need a, a cleaning out and a build up. You just boil a few of the leaves. With a little piece of the limb for a couple of mornings, like five or seven mornings. And drink it. And drink it. You can use a little piece and wash the eye, you know. But it's necessary if you use a green leaf. Mm -hmm. You just wash it off properly. That is a green leaf. Mm -hmm. You just wash a little piece of it. And you put it in and you put it in some warm water. You don't make it boil. Mm -hmm. That is for the eye. You just take it and wash the eye. Okay. So what's your favorite bush? My favorite bush? Mm-hmm. My favorite bush is so much, I believe you know. Really? Yeah, man. That's my favorite bush. My personal favorite bush. This is a different one. This is the one that they call Medina. So that was Nuni and the Medina now. Yes. We drink some for tea the other day. This is the Medina. Everybody are talking about this one. Yes, this is the Medina. Okay. Just keep you in tune. As a man, it clean the, the bowels. Uh huh. It 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 build all way. Pain in the back, pain in the joints, and like for the man now, right round them places, the hip, uh -huh. the pain is the back. Like uh -huh. you have a pain in the back, uh -huh. you can drink it. This is all over Jamaica. It no I'm going some some places it don't go, you know, and some places it don't go. In St. Anne's Bay here it goes. Yes, mm -hmm. Okay. This is the Medina. It's very good for back pain. Is it good to drink every day for tea or just Just for a certain type, so certain amount of mornings. Okay. Like maybe five morning or evening. Mm -hmm. If you have have the pain. But this and the noon can work together, you know. Okay. So you drink two of them? You can put the both of them together and boil them. Noonie and Medina. And Medina. And yeah, it, man. It, it's it work, man. Yes, man. It works, man. So me must work. drink some for the whole week for me there. Yeah, man. You can drink a little. All right. Me drink some up at St. Anne's. The way they are St. Catherine. So okay. me I go drink some up at Manchester and St. Mary. Yes. Yeah, Every morning, can. Medina yeah. and Noonie together. Yeah. If you want to. You can do them separate, mm -hmm. but I don't like drink one bush. I yeah. just don't like one bush to boil and drink, like for tea. You mix them when you boil them? Yeah, mm -hmm. for tea. Mm -hmm. I mix them like a little piece of the Medina, a little piece of the Noni, mm -hmm. and I boil it for tea. But definitely if you were to use it for a medicine, and you know what the complaint is like, you just use the Medina alone. Okay. Like suppose, for instance, you get up like tomorrow and you feel you have a back pain. And you never really have that back pain. If it's even gas, you just boil a cup of it in the morning, two cups, and then you drink one in the morning, you put it down. And in the evening now you just strain off the other cup and drink where you want to warm it over you want to add it. The stronger it be, the, mm -hmm. the better it is. So I may give you the Nooni and me give you the Medina and me give you the sweet balsam. Mm -hmm. So that is coral. Coral. Yeah. I grow up with it as coral while you have some people call it Shirley Bush. So maybe a lot of people may know it by Shirley, but the right name of it is coral. This is for arthritis pain. Asthma. Mm hmm. I think so. Not really pink flowers, really. I'll try to spin and an asthma. And asthma. Coral. Yeah. Coral. Coral book. Look, the bees, bees live, live with bees in jars. The bees are living to this part of the bush. How oh, you get this part? I'm going to bring it outside and see it good. Mm -hmm. I, could, I could bring it outside for a second. Hey, Kaya! You know, me the water boy didn't get hard, you know. Come the man. I'm gonna cook it one time. I'm gonna cook it one time. I'm gonna cook it one time. 
excuse me, Nathan. Come now, man, you put your boy here. Remember, say the fire no weak in the man, your fire no take long to cook pot. Come into the floor, man, for me, man. You can't buy your boy in your finger and you know if you go clean. You doing it with the breadfruit? The leaf. And what is the leaf good for? For sugar. Where the breadfruit leaf? But when you pick it, don't make it drop on the ground. No, my man, you seem sick and go on the fence, man. I said, 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 and she came in. And you take your hands? Yes, I take them. Am I right now, man? Am I work? I feel up. I work. I feel up all over here now. Let me see. Let me see. Then I have nothing for cancer on you. I want to tell you something to you. Know. I want to tell you something, see, you know. When you push a message, you both talk, they go to the camp, you know. You see, you um, know. You can't read it. Yeah, yeah, so you go to the camp, you know. You have the penny right, you know, and the arm. Um, Mm -mm. No, I'm a penny royal. Guinea and weed. Chicken weed. Spirit weed. Come here, so. Jaya, come the man. No, what you want me to do? Why you make the dumpling for me, man? We have trouble when we want you, do you mean? We have going to come near the dumpling, the man. We can't believe we're going to clean up nothing and you know, and go figure spinky spanky and spinky spanky. Just do it. You can't go with them, you know. What about garlic? What are you doing with that? Oh my gosh. That would be so many things. Then give your bad foot, bad belly. You can't boil the garlic. And the garlic is an antibiotic. You're feeling weary and dizzy and things like that. You can just swallow one thing. But I take time to camp for you to oil. When, you, when, when, when the baby is born, what do you usually feed them with more more so? If they have corn? Yeah, the baby. Yeah, when the baby is born, if they have corn, mm -hmm. that's what I mean? Yeah. You buy a garlic tea, you know. Okay. Give them not, not more than two ounces. But you rub on them foot if they have dry skin. Right? You can't use said coconut oil. Same coconut oil? Yeah, man. Said coconut oil, just very tight and get the oil. Mm. Mommy, I mean, most people might not really bother with it now, but it's very good, you know. Most people use the olive oil now. So the olive oil is ready. You just go to the, the pharmacy and order it. But if you have your coconut, you just break it and you boil it down in oil and you put it into a bottle. You don't do that with the breadfruit skin? No, not really. What about the jackfruit seed? It's both this, the jackfruit itself and the seed, we use it. When you just fruit, you don't cook it like me. Yeah. When it gets fit now, we blend it and make drinks. Oh man, tell me, so the guava, inside of the guava is good for cleaning people out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. The jackfruit now, let me take the jackfruit and blend it make drinks. And me eat it. And take the seed, make boiling soup. When you just fruit you know, you take the time to um, meat. All you do with kalu is just eat kalu, nothing else? You can mix it with you can mix it with chocha. Mm hmm You can mix it with carrot. So, nice. so if a baby is born, what what do you recommend them eat more to grow up strong? Carrot, pumpkin, Irish potato, and turn it. What's so special about the turnip? No, the turnip is like a bitterish mm -hmm. at times. And the bitterness from the turnip, it purge. 
crazy blood. What, when, when, when them kids must stop drink milk? You mean like babies? Yeah. They do have no time to stop. And they can't drink milk. You mean like the breast milk? Yeah. I went there four years. But the mother can't afford it. Hmm. What about adults after 18 or 20? <laughs> And if you like stop drinking milk from me, my breast, you can't stop it, you know. But some people don't drink milk. But they, they use a lot of sugar. And the sugar is still good because the sugar has been devalacies. If they don't drink the milk and they drink the sugar, it is better. Because right now the sugar is better. Because they come using that milk inside of the, the, the fridge, it's something. You know, like peas, you know. What a sweet potato? Mm -hmm. Why not like you like the put in there, right? Wash it down and peel it. Can I change color? No, no, not really. You get the, you get the better part of it if you just put it in there. Mm -hmm. Natalia, what are you cooking? Tommy dumpling. Mm -hmm. Who teach you to eat flour? Don't buy me. You just look on them. You can't cook everything your, your grandmother can cook? Yes. Your grandmother teach you? Not really. You just look what I'm doing. Then you just can eat. Or sometimes you just try. And you just do. <laughs> No, I can no, no, my aunt about the cancer. Then a different, different, you know, what different with me tell them all. Is it a cancer? No, sir. No, I'm not going to do I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going to do Alright, I tell him I tell him we're good for cancer now. All the weed. Donkey weed. Donkey weed up something on the donkey weed. How many for donkey weed now that bag there? Donkey weed. Spirit weed. Guinean weed. And the catty weed. And chicken weed. You put them five weed together and boil them and drink them. But you have to use the five weed. And the five weed is spirit weed. Guinean weed, donkey weed, macchiato weed, and chicken weed. That's why I'm just asking me about what goes to cancer. So me, tell me. You, no. spoke, you spoke about some new ones. I mean, a few of the new ones I tell you out there. The one I was going to have a thing named Shingle. You know about it? Mm -mm. That come out on your skin with some little fussy fussy near. Either this side or this side. But it, it, a lot of people have it while some don't. But when it first makes the attack, it, it, you feel your back. You get pain from your back. And then after you get the pain from your back now, you eventually have to see one thing. Then you start to have this scratching right along the back here. Mm -hmm. So when you have in shingle now, you get in shingle now, it comes from here. It always comes from the left side of the body, like where you have appendix. Mm -hmm. So the shingle comes from this way, scratch. It's not going to come as far as in here, but it's going to stop. And it come up here and take some sores. Mm -hmm. From some little sore that you have to wonder if it's chicken pox or so. Mm -hmm. But it's not chicken pox. But it from a, bong, a lump of sore, bumps, 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 bumps. Mm -hmm. And when you go to the doctor, they call that shingle. Mm -hmm. If you ever hear about shingle, okay. it's not so regular, you know. 
children who have chicken pox when they were young. And it get better before. You know, sometimes some children have some cuts and parents yes, it and it get better. It eventually will work out back. They call it. You must have coconut. Liquid from it, that's the time it's bitter. What you have over here? This name, French thyme. It's good to put into soup. Mm -hmm. And like you're cooking down your meat. Mm -hmm. But it's good for ulster. French thyme? Yes, it's good for ulster. So how you prepare it? Well, you get it on the syrup. And the frankincense and more for the ulster. Mm -hmm. And some cersei over here. And some cersei over here. Sell it as cersei there. So, them do not special the flower, the cersei? Yeah. I'm running around, I'm going to get a broke to leave and this job in it and make me part taste ever. What are you again? French thyme. French thyme? Yes, French thyme. And you put it in the meat? Mm-hmm. And it make it taste better? Yeah, I make it taste better. It's like thyme? Yes, sir. But that's French? Yes, sir. That's the name I call it, you know. And what do you say good for again? Um, ulster. Ulster. Mm. Good for the ulster. What about the, 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 the dog wood? The, the, um, the dog blood. Dog blood. Mm -hmm. Dark blood was here, but we read up on them and let me see any of them now. What are good for? Well, dark blood is good for infection in the womb, in the part in the body. They say women use it and throw it pregnancy. Never really use it for that. Okay. But it clean, like if you have a gallstone and those things, and you know you have it, pneumonia, bronchitis. It, 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 you, you can use it now along with this. Along with the, the French time. French time. But the dark blood can boil for, for infection the womb or the giants. You know, like if you get a knock, you never pay it much mind, and you find that spot started to hurt, mm -hmm. and you just say, I get information. Infection, not information. Infection is there. Mm -hmm. you, you boil the dark blood and drink. And this now, this is Guinean, this is chicken weed. Chicken weed. This is chicken weed. This what? is a very wonderful bush. What is good for? This is chicken weed. So you grow them nearby? Mm hmm This is chicken weed. What is good for? Hmm. What is good for? All type of something. Mm -hmm. You can mix it with something else. All right, this is gas. Mm -hmm. It is it, it, it helpful for gas, but then again, it can put with other bush with other meaning. This look like his favorite bush right here. Mm -hmm. Chicken weed. Asthma. You say asthma. Mm -hmm. Asthma. People who suffer with asthma, I use it along with the coral mm -hmm. for the asthma. And it clean them. Yeah, man. Yeah. The one now that is chicken it now, you put all of them together and boil them to wash the asthma out. That is it. The chicken it not here outside. Right now? Across the road. Chicken it. Chicken it. Mm -hmm. Chicken it, the chicken feed, and the coral. Mm -hmm. Chicken weed. Chicken, chicken weed. Chicken weed. A lot of people try to get it, but it's not that easy, that easy to get until when you can buck it up. But it not grow everywhere. If you start growing your money, it's sometimes you don't see it again until it come back up. Mm. And it's chicken weed. So you get the chicken weed and the noon. Mm -hmm. Pain at the back. Pain at the jam. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Your teeth. You see your throat? Mm -hmm. Like if you have a problem with the throat, like cold in the throat. Mm -hmm. You get the same chicken weed. And boil it and gather the throat. You make it strong and use it and gather the throat. Okay. And you can rub it like this, as I said. You can use for that too. For like any fungus or such. Because it depends on what class it will the fungus. But this is the major one. This is so much. So when you throw up what it's there, you say it all right now. But the chicken weed, man, the chicken weed, man. The chicken weed. The chicken weed, so bad that the chicken weed has some more bushes to put them together if you need something and you go against it, you know. 
You clean it out, you know. You just wash it out, wash it out. A lot of people pray for the chicken meat. Sometimes you can't find it. But the chicken meat. You can put it into the bottle. It's good for worm. You can put it into a bottle. You throw some rum on it. And you throw some pimento grain on it. And you keep that for worm. This is, this is, a, this is a worm bush. This one stinks. This is another worm bush. This worm bush don't work along with this sour stuff leaf. It's a worm bush, it's a worm named Simicantra. Simicantra. What is a worm? No matter what the children have, so I can boil it and give it to them and they go into them bed. At night, and as they wake in the morning, semi contract mm -hmm. for worm. Mm -hmm. Now, what about the okra? Do you do anything with the okra? Leaf? Yeah. Take it, just make a tea and everything. You can't steam it, you know. Steam and eat? Yeah. Like, like, like callaloo. Like callaloo? Mm -hmm. Okra leaf? Yeah. You can steam and eat? Yeah, man. What do what, what, what you use this for now? No. That is another thing now. That can't heal if you now can't walk. <laughs> Or if the hand die, or if the foot cramp up, leave a spot. What name? Tuna. At this time, called tuna. Yeah. And it feel the woman, Virginia. So she cut it and how use it? Just drink it. Damn boy, you can drink it. You can soak it. Okay. And if you have butter blood like you fall down and knock your foot, mm -hmm. and you know that it did not that spot and you're having a problem with it. It's red. You slice it, mm -hmm. warm it, you put it into something and tie it on and it draws what you find here. Mm -hmm. Okay, tuna. Like them put sugar in there. Or sour orange. Sour orange? Yeah. You roast the sour orange. And you put a little sugar with the sour orange and eat it for new moon or brown tightness or asthma. So you farm a coal. Coal. Sour orange. And that's a sour orange. When you have it down here, you may have it up country. But the sour orange for any farm of coal, which is new moon is coal, brown tightness is coal, and asthma is coal, and ordinarily fresh coal. You can just roast the sour orange. And then when you roast it and cut it, you just put a little sugar in it. And, and, and suck, suck it from it if you want to squeeze it out. And... Mm. Anything with mango leaves? You just boil tea. You just boil tea and there. So everything on you, just, you can make yeah. tea with? Yes, so when you use those leaves, pear, pear. It's a pear and mango. Mm -hmm. Alright, I can give you a, very ner a good nerve stomach now. Pear, mango, guinea. It was three little leaves and a little piece of the leaf. And you boil it and drink it. You don't have the nerves problem. And the almond. So the almond that beer, that's good for the teeth. The almond of the almond tree? Yes. When it drop? When it drop or not. So but you, you just eat it? Yeah, man. Just eat it. It's good for the teeth? Yeah, man. It's good for the teeth. It's straight the, 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 the area of the teeth, the crumbs of the teeth. Really? Mm. But the mango, the pear, and the guinea, we may not have the knees very here, but that does me use for nerves. No matter how the nerves weak, you can put the five of them together and boil them. Which is the mango, the pear, the knees berry, and the sour sap, the juncum. And them five of them use for nerves. Knees with that shape so we can't hit them more. They don't need them to have to come back. And you drink it and it come back strong? Yeah, man. Yeah, but you don't drink it one time. You drink, you drink it like, you drink it and eat it in between. And sugar now. People have this, but have sugar. What on? Uh? The pear leaf 
and the mango and the sour sap and the kneesberry and the nerves in that man. Billion nerves, billion nerves. You know, you know feel nerves problem. Mm. We're going to talk about sugar now. And the nation dying out with sugar. Chicken weed. <laughs> you go back to the chicken weed along with something named tree round so. You go back to the chicken weed and the tuna and the anata. You know anata? And the anata leave. I drink them in my no sugar trouble. So right here we're with the carob bush. You know so this this good for what you say now? Arthritis. Arthritis. And asthma. And asthma. Mm -hmm. And it has some little flowers right there. Yes, you see the, the flowers. Let me see if we can get the flowers in closer together. Bring the bush down to me. You yeah, smell this already, man. You used to screw up with this. You show up with this one? Yeah. It go along the fence side. It is plenty all in Spanish town. Bring the bag with the noni. Uh, uh, and the bag with the um, Medina. And this is Sumba now. Oh, this is Sumba? Sumba leaf. What that good for? Cool. You good for cool? Yes, I make nice tea. Oh, maybe it's really a bit sure you So you said this, this is, this is... Arthritis, huh? This right here is Cara. Yeah. Okay. And this is for what? Arthritis and asthma. Okay. All right. This one is... Medina. This is the Medina. Mm -hmm. And you said this one is good for? Pain in the box, pain in the joints. Mm -hmm. And it help, it, it, it helpful to man uh, around the penis, the area there. Clean them all. Yes, clean them. Clean the passage. All right. And that is the noony now. That is a hard purpose thing. The noony. So where do you find these drawings? The tree and it is around the back. That's the noni. Yes, it's the noni. It's dry now. And you can mix it with the medina. So yes. Noni and medina. Yeah. All right. Got those. Mm. It's susumba. Yes, it is susumba. Which one? This one. This one also? Yes, yeah, man. And what do you, you do with the leaf? <laughs> you boil it for? Boil it for coal. Mm -hmm. And it good for cut. How you apply it for cut? It good for wingworm. Mm -hmm. It good for rash on the skin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, man. It's just some relief. Yes, it's just some relief. Notice my hand becomes green, getting mm -hmm. wet. Mm -hmm. Getting wet. Okay. okay. So the juice that you get from this, if you have a cut, mm -hmm. and the cut you won't eat, you cut it and you... Oh, really? You juice it like that to the cut. And and you wash the area of the cut very clean. Uh-huh. And you juice it and you wrap it in there and then you just use this like this to clean around the surface of the cut. And you put the juice in it. All right. <laughs> now what they eat when you do it, you just... Oh, so you just use it in spots area too? Yes, yes. Yeah, can you use my face too? Yes, sir. To clean up your skin? Yes, sir. So somebody. Yes, so somebody, but you have to do it like this. You have to rub it up first. Yes, you have to rub it up to get the, the get it the wet and then just yeah. use it to rub it on yeah, your face. Yeah, you don't have to rub it with anything, you know. Uh huh. After you just rub it, it like this. Mm -hmm. It carries out its own juice. Mm hmm So the liquid that you get from it. This is so so my leaf. This is so my leaf. I'm going to give you a liquid now. And that's a liquid. And mm. it can drop in the cut. And it can rub. Okay. That's good. But if I drink... Well, no, see what I mean again. Now talk to me about growing up. Where you grow up? 
Kingston. Your grandmother teach you? And your mother teach you? Both of them, mother and grandmother. Both of them, the grandmother. And all the medicine stuff, where you learn that? I'm never really learning from that one, you know. You know, me just, me just get that at puppy bear yourself, you know. That just comes to me as a gift. My thing too, you know. Mm -hmm. This one is alright. So they this one is come fine. to you as a gift? Mm-hmm. Because a few of them, my grandmother always use them. She never really teach me anything about bush. Likewise, my mother. Mm -hmm. Because my mother, a small child, was very, very much a kid, little sick. At all time. And there was this little girl that used to suffer with asthma. And I just me use and carry. What's that? Same poke and a tear. Eh? Mm hmm. Oh. You break it, you boil it out in oil. And it take care of... I'm using the square key I'm saying it. And that's it. She's in England now. What name? Camper rated oil. Mm-hmm. You eat meat? Sometimes. Fish. Fish and, and chicken. Fish and chicken. You know you eat cow. Like the mouth and the head part. Why? Why eat the mouth and the head part? Yes. I like too much of the red part of the meat. Like cow foot. Let me eat cow foot. Up on last Sunday. Mm -hmm. What's special about the ram goat? The black ram goat? Mm -hmm. The meat is just very. The meat just eat different. You eat no hog? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't touch the hog. I'm eat the goat when okay, if I was there. You know? I'm eat the goat when we like bush it for ourselves. Mm -hmm. so up in the country there we raise those things. Any special fish you like? Mm-hmm. Yeah man, two special fish we like. You want know any? What? Goat fish and that fish. You like them on there? Mm -hmm. You buy them at the market too, right? Yeah, man, sometimes. <laughs> so where you grew up now? Hmm? You grew up in St. Anne's? No, I'm going to Kingston. Going to Kingston. When you get electricity, you want a blender? Mm -hmm. We have a blender too, you know. We have all those things already, like, you know. You can get a TV for you. Mm -hmm. We have a TV too, you know. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, Wait there. It's inside, I don't know if I want to do a spray, but we don't have the light too. So what do you do for, for fun? What do you do for relaxation? Church? Church. I'm crochet. And crochet. Are you need the hat, you say? Mm hmm. Ah. I have a whole bag of crochet inside here. Yeah, well, give me one. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do some looking. You sure you don't make no look at mat? Mm hmm. Can I give me a mat as a souvenir? How much you want? Excuse me. Me? Uh uh, I mean, I have no me. Some me over now, me over. Taros. Taros. I have no taros crochet, many things, huh? Let me get one for my mother. Tyrus. April. You have April? I have the tires. I have the You have April? Mm-mm. I have the tree. Ooh. I have, have Libra. Uh-huh. I have uh, Sagittarius. Uh-huh. Two more of them. You sell them too? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Yes. Then I'm going to look for some of them.
Right now, I have a that snack I had one night on the way yesterday. Midway that is funny, son. Like she was going to the market here yesterday. Mm -hmm. Again, I want you to support the movement, donate, buy the pictures, continue to share these videos um, with your family. Uh, these videos are a very important aspect to our culture. Health is first, and that's why I set out to do this, because um, this information is very, very valuable. It's very unique, and um, I really appreciate you watching this and sharing this with your friends and family and your children so cherish this and enjoy your life and be in health and um take care randy ponger save jamaica.com